What's up? Mexico. Eric here with Jung. Charles. What up? Hi. We're in Mexico right now. I'm about to do some diving. Dimension diving in Tulum. We're about to go diving on Christmas Day. Oh, you want to bring six cookies? Yeah, I'm going to bring six cookies. Okay. John, can you tell me uh, what you're doing right now? Me? I'm analyzing yeah. uh, the gas right now. You were showing off your cookies. Yeah, I was showing off your cookies as well. See that for GUE? We analyze our gas every morning and we mark our tanks with our name and the tank. Maximum protein depth. Yes, there is gas in there. Cool. That's a problem. <laughs> yes. so yeah, see, perfect. There you go. We are at Oxo right now. This is Breakfast. Tani. Breakfast. What is that? Crystal. They even tell you excessive calories. Yeah. <laughs> excessive calories, excessive sugar, excessive fat. So if we're gonna cross over this uh, this two lane highway to go left here. Uh, we don't stop and go left and wait the, and let the cars go around to the right of us. We need to pull off to the side of the road on the right side, wait for cars to pass, and then cut across the Got it. Hey, they, they rent um, drones. It's yeah. uno. Cada uno. Para yo? No, it's uh, each. 250 each. Oh. Oh. 250 per diver. All right. This is a uh, Cenote car wash, or Mayan call it the Aktumha. They uh, used to wash cars here. A lot of taxi drivers come here and wash car here. You see, it's right next to a highway. Hence the uh, cenote's name, Cenote Car Wash. You can see all the fish just swimming around. It's a very pretty cave. These are the skin-eating fish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so people will pay. People will pay at airports for this. You get it free here, or it's included with the cenote fee. Nice exfoliation. Yep. I'm just uh do a pre-dive gear check. Lights. All right, so make sure that all your equipment works before you get into the water. Primary. Backup lights. All right, so one of the great things about GUE is that our gear is standardized. So I know exactly what Charles's gear is set up like, and I know where his equipment is. Same with Jung's. And uh, this will be my first time diving with Charles, so. I already have a level of familiarity, which is a cool thing because you can dive with people. You can dive with people that you haven't dove with before. Oh my gosh. There's so if you many. put it in there long enough, you won't have any feet. The psychedelic fence. <laughs> Compass is always go to your left hand and gauges are always to your right. Tanny's getting ready. Brand new C1 diver. As of Yesterday or two days ago? Two days ago. What are you gonna do today, Ruth? I'm gonna snorkel and then I'll probably dive off of that. <laughs> Let's do the downstream, the uh, southeast mm -hmm. um, mainline. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, let's run the edge then. Good job.
Your good side? Is this your good side? Oh my god. 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 Oh yeah. Can we take this on the water? In 200 meters, you will arrive at your destination. Sonote no hochi Charles doesn't like pork rinds that much. Hmm. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good, man. Yeah, this will do fine. Thank you. You gonna stay? I don't think so. You gotta be very careful with these stairs. I slip one time and my and my gauge like drop in there. I'm like, no! This is a very beautiful, very easy entry K1 dives. Um, they are many lines that you can do, and there's many tunnels. Very big, very beautiful, highly decorated. It's a very white, pretty cave. Um, it's part of the uh, Sistama Sakatun, part of the one of the longest cave systems here. It just this is just one part of it. What is blue? Look at it. Very, very blue. Very pretty cave. Um, today, we're going to do the Alberto Swan. <laughs> I said words do not describe how beautiful this cave is. You just gotta see it no, to believe be it. Crying, <laughs> <laughs> no man, I don't cry. I did my very first note dive um, back in 2016 and it was actually at this place that's called the Taj Mahal and I saw this uh, sign with a skull I'm like hmm I wonder what's beyond there and I met the, my very first cave diver his name is Matty uh, his trim is awesome super flat super calm um, I was amazed by his body positions um, his skill in the water, his buoyancy. I started diving, um, I, I don't remember, uh, like 2011 or something. I was living abroad, I was living in Tokyo, um, and I met a bunch of people and, and they became really good friends of mine and they were just like, hey, we're going on this trip, do you want to come? I was like, sure. And they were going on a liveaboard in the Maldives. And they're like, oh, it's a scuba trip. And I was like, oh, can I learn there? And they're like, sure. So I got certified on a liveaboard in the Maldives. Then I moved around, I went to the Netherlands for a little while and I dive, I was diving there and I got moved again back to California. Um, and that's when I met David Watson um, and he did my fundamentals and, and he's a huge cave diver, he loves the caves. 
Um, and I've always kind of had this like this uh, dream of diving in the caves down here. So, you know, fundamentals was a good pathway to that. We're back. Long, long dive, right? Eh? Oh yeah, we did two dives only. Only two dives. Only two dives? That <laughs> is <laughs> gonna be long. <laughs> Ruth is doing a guided experience today so with this is Geo. Let's go check out the snow they eat it. What up? Now let's go look at the Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful snow days. We're eating? I don't want to be eating twice. This place requires a guy. Any diver to be certified, they must jump off from here. Wow. You're not you're not joking. You're joking, right? I hope I am. Charles is putting us through some land drills right now. <laughs> Not about land drills. But... Negative. Oh yeah. Wait, is this the one that melt Ruth's skin yeah. off? This is my favorite. He's ready. Oh, okay. Have fun. Thanks. Beer tonight because you guys are tech diving tomorrow, right? No, no, we got beer at home. Wow. Oh, no. sorry. Saving money. Junk saving money. Look at his teeth. Oh, yeah. Some kind of fish. I'm not sure, but I'm about to dig right into it. That's really good, though. 6 30 in the morning. Jung and I are going to do a tech dive. We're tired. <laughs> and Ruth is laughing at us. Feeling bad for us. Charles doesn't care. Today we decided to do something new. Today we decided to go do some ocean diving. I've never done an ocean diving here before, so I don't know how it is yet. But it'll be fun. Okay, good yeah. enough. I mean, those shops in here, they'll probably make you sign some liability releases. Yeah, there's one. Probably the one in the middle. Ah, I see. Where, oh, with the yeah, with the ladder that comes down. My heart's been ripped wide open. So many mixed emotions. It's like I finally noticed. I've been safe. I've been safe. I spent a lifetime running. so John, tell us about the dive today. Oh, it was fun. Taekwondo dive, boat rides about five, maybe less than 10 minutes. You do the back row off the boats and you go diving. 170 feet, beautiful clear water. Got a lot of these big giant corals. You know, you can look inside, there's like little fishermen around. Yeah, and there's a deep wall that goes all the way down to the, to the abyss. Very pretty dive here. Ruth, are you excited? Super excited. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fun. 
Do you even know what we're doing? I have no idea, but it's gonna be fun. See the image now we can look at all the guide to the Caribbean reef life. So we saw this guy, slippery dick. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's... It is. You're right. The signal for camera. This. <laughs> this is a 1920s camera. <laughs> yes. You have to like. You have to turn the wheel. Yeah. And then you have a flash. <laughs> and what's the signal for fish? Fish. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I saw these ones. I thought it was very basslet. These are cool. And I saw a lot of these by color uh, Danzo fish. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's this one. Black Black Durgon. This is what we saw. Yeah. So when you get gas, um, usually it's better to give them a fixed uh, dollar amount or pesos amount um, instead of just saying full because then they will just run the meter and run the meter potentially. Um, also, make sure that when you pull up, they zero out the meter, um, and you before you drive off, make sure that they actually filled it to as much as you requested. Yeah, he's trying to scam us. We just had that twenty. Yeah, he when he turned around, he swapped that twenty with a one dollar bill. How many guys, friend? Oh, uh, maybe. That's Genji. What she's feeling. Yeah. Is it good? It's really good. What is it? Pro Show. It's really good. Mmm. Can I have one scoop of the uh, chocolate? It's the best one. One scoop of the Spicy beer. This is really good beer, actually. It's like a chili with tamarind and orange. It's good. I like it. It's um, it's like has a plum flavor. Morning. Buenos dias. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna just do some uh, surface stuff. What do people come to uh, Tulum and they don't die? What do they do? You know, I'm very curious about this type of organism. I don't know anything about this taco shop. You have to talk about it. I know nothing either. I just like to eat stuff from there. Let's go up. Let's go down. Let's go pig. Dude, that is the biggest Mexican flag I've ever seen. Oh, That's wow, this cool. is a really nice town. Yeah, it is. And do you know what's so good about it? Everybody, literally everybody, is wearing mask. a damn mask. Even the lingerie store. Hey, Eric, look, I think there's one that will fit you. What's the name of the city we're in right now? Faya Dolid. We're about an hour and a half outside of Tulum. Interestingly enough, we're in a different time zone today in this area. We don't know how that happened. We weren't expecting it, but... We gained an hour. It's awesome. <laughs> Chinese food in Mexico. It's 
the only Chinese food that I had in Mexico. Egg rolls, no good. Half face, half skull. It's got half moon, half sun. Always carry one of these. No less than 99.9% .9 rubbing alcohol. It kills everything, including humans. All right, let's do this. Copa. What's the game that they would play? There's the old ball through it. Yeah. Through very, that hole? Yeah, yeah, very similar to that. He said that I was listening to I was listening to the tour guide and he said the ball goes through and it's supposed to create like a moon. Um, the different phases of the moon. You know about to climb the pyramid. Because too many people kept falling out of the top of the pyramid. People would die for uh, like a selfie. Now let's go back into the cave now. Let's go cave down. I'm peacing out tomorrow. We're getting some El Pastor tacos. Um, something right here that I don't know what it is. I want to try it out. It's called the gringa. Great trip. Great week. Thank you, Eric, for joining Thank us. You. Sad to see you go. I still feel with chopsticks. Okay, maybe I should not be making fun of your tiny little reel that you have. I know people are sensitive about, the little, about their little reels, but <laughs> I know that should keep it between just you and I as well. Right. Mayo? Ah. These are Bruce's favorite tacos. Aren't you exhausted to hang out with me for one week? No, I'm gonna miss you, My Mexico. <laughs> Thank you. You got everything? Yep. These two? Good diving yeah, for me. Great. I'll hit you guys up when I go to LA. Peace. <laughs>